as you saw, today we're going to do a shake change. Shake change is uh, one of the most basic card moves you can think of. Um, it's pretty easy, you know, you can uh, modify it your own way. You, um, you can, it's customizable. Say it's yeah, like in the basic, you make it yeah. as advanced. Yes. It all depends on how you practice, okay? So, I'm gonna show you a variation, and my friend Bruce Lee, which you already know, okay? You already know Bruce Lee because you know he died and came back to life, he resurrected, okay? Say what's up, Bruce Lee. Say what's up. Yeah, that was Bruce Lee. But, anyways, um, let's get into it, shall we? <clears throat> Okay, so um, like you saw, you, uh, you take a, let's say a queen, right? And you, you know, your performance, but basically what the move is, is two cards flipping over, okay? So you want to do a double lift. Okay, so that's the basic move, okay? So to get, uh, to get into this move, you gotta, like you heard, you have to know a double lift. Um, okay, so you pick a card, two of clubs. What you want to do now is uh, get a break under the top card. You can get this any way, any way you know how. You can lift it up here, lift it up here, uh, push off on the fingers and push back. You get a little break, however you want. The most basic way to do it is you push forward. And come back. See your fingers stay all right there. You have a little break. Okay. So, uh, but you do that in the misdirection of uh, think of your card uh, or put it back. Okay. And you know. So you take the incorrect card or the indifferent card, slide it on top, perfectly squaring the card back to back. Okay. So the card is back to back. Okay, so but it has to be perfect. You don't want this because they'll see this. They'll see, wait, there's two cards there, or this, you know, something that is not this is wrong. Well, it's okay, perfectly squared. What you want to do at this point is um, grab with your thumb and your middle, depending on you know how big your fingers are. You can do it with a uh, ring if you have small hands. But um, 90% of the time it is from thumb to middle, okay? From here, you're holding, you pick up the packet, move your hand away. You tell them, well, this is not your card? No, okay. So you shake. As you shake, what your index is going to do is come, touch this corner where the, the top of the pip is next to your uh, middle. So... Your finger comes here, and all the finger does is pull back and rotate the packet. When you're at this point, your index pushes down to kind of bring it in the same position it was at before. Okay, so one more time. Come here, middle on this pip, thumb on this bottom one, pick up. Take your index, place it in this corner, index rotates, rotates, pushes down as you're shaking. So the shaking is kind of misdirection. So in speed it looks like this. Looks like a amazing color change. Okay, hey, what's up? Um, so this is gonna be my variation of how I do the shake change. People do it differently. You can do the shake one, or um, you can do a, a snap one like this. Okay, so the shake one, and then the snap. Okay. So that one works by when, like you said, you hold the two cards and you get your, your break, and you put that card on top. Come here, you have the two cards and you want to pull back on these two corners and hold really lightly on these two when you're doing it. If you're right-handed, by the way, I forgot to say this. If you're right-handed, you're going to put your right thumb on the bottom right corner and
and your right middle finger on the top left. That way you're holding it from here. You don't want to hold it like this, you don't want to hold it like this, because if you hold it from this side, this card can, if your hands are small, the card can get caught here and it make the change look weird. So it looks something like this. My hands are really big, so I'm able to do it that way. Um, see, it gets caught sometimes. But the best way to do it, because you have more space and it makes it look like you never turned the card. So another tip when you're also doing the shake, after you're pulling, don't leave your finger on that side. Make sure you put your finger here because you don't want to make it look like you just did this. You want to put your finger back before the shake is done. So the way I do it, I don't personally shake anymore. I usually just drop into it, see? See, I drop. So it's still regular shake change. It's just uh, adding a little more speed and holding a lot more lightly. Okay. So you pull this down as fast as you can, but you're not putting force. You're just tapping it. You're kind of like kicking it like that. It's like the opposite of a flick. It's like, instead of you flicking it this way, instead of you flicking it, you're gonna pull. So in that moment of the pull that you're doing, you wanna release pressure on these two, just as if you're doing the snap. So when you're in the motion of doing this one, these fingers loosen, because now you don't need as much pressure. You're kind of splitting the pressure between these fingers and these fingers. But this one just has like 60%, this one has 40. Or like a 55, 45. So it's from there. So instead of you just doing it with here, you can do the, that break change like this, but with one hand. That's kind of what it is. The reason how I came up with this is because when I was doing this, my um, my left hand had, had got messed up because uh, when I first got into Magic, I was I had just learned the shake changes. And I wanted to perform it, but I had broke my wrist. So I was coming up with a way on how to be able to do it with this hand, but I wanted to be able to be able to show people both the shake change and the snap. So when I did the shake one, I would do the shake, and then I would come back, give it a little break in between, and then I would show them the other change to make it look a little different. And that's when I came up with just dropping into it. Okay. So once again, you get your break. Get your break with your pinky or your fingers, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it don't look too obvious, you know? Because once this card placed on top, you're just grabbing it. Once you have it here, then you're pretty good. And another thing that helps the cards stick together is just bend them in a little bit, just a little bit. Not too much, you don't want to do all this, just, just a little bit. It helps the card stay together a little bit. Even if it has that little space, don't worry about it because it's from this angle, not here. Okay? It's not like you're changing it from here. You're changing it from the top. They're looking over from here. See? And then when you're doing this, boom, or you can go here. Okay? So yeah, don't, don't ever worry about it if there's a little break showing, just keep it moving. Don't, don't, don't pause. Because you remember, uh, they're laymen. They, they don't know what magic is, so you gotta show them. So they don't know what to expect until you show them, you know? So make sure you don't wanna go too fast, but if you're gonna do something, do it. Give it a little pause in between. So if I'm performing a check, I'm like, hey, was this your card? No? Okay, and I'm gonna give it a little shake. You shake it, now the card changes. You wanna give them a little pause so they know that the card changed. You don't wanna go boom and just cover it up and like, okay, that's it. So you don't, want to, you don't want to make it look too weird. You want to make it look nice. Make it look presentable. Um, show your showmanship when you're doing it. Don't just stay quiet and just be like. Don't do that. Because now, one, you look fishy. Two, it looks like you're trying to hide something. And three, you're moving too fast for the person to feel the magic, feel what's going on, you know? Yo, thank you guys so much for watching, you know, as you all know, you know, it, it was a pleasure, you know, showing magic to you young kids, okay? So don't forget to like. What he said. See you in the next one. What is up guys? It's your boy Xavier Spade here. And I'm Chris Mason. Alright, so the card about this. Both of you are gonna take a card, okay? So you take one out. Look at you, no no. Just look at it yourself. Because if you look at both, then you'll probably get yours confused. So go ahead and put your card back right down the middle. Yeah. Like your card gets cut, and then we'll give it another cut. We'll put yours in. That way they're in two different slots. Mm -hmm. And we'll go to shuffle. That's fair, right? Yep. But these are all mixed up? Yep. Watch.
I know you forgot to show them to the camera, but it's fine. Um, how about this? Tell me when to stop. Stop. If you stop me and you actually just found his car, though. See that one shows, yeah? Yeah. But look, if you actually look closely when you give it a little shake, it actually turns into yours. What? That's crazy. Yeah. What? Did you do that? It's crazy. Thank you. That was cool. Thank you. I can do that. Yeah.